five goals against and a 9.15 save percentage. Puck is down, the Growlers win the faceoff, and we are underway, first of three at home on the week as it's the Cyclones against the Newfoundland Growlers. There's 12 on the other side of the ice. As Matt Berry had a stick taken out from him, that's gonna be a penalty. In front of the Cyclones goal line, he begins striding out to center, pumps it to Berry, who's behind the defense, breakaway, Berry a shot, and that one denied. Carrying it themselves, and now they make a line change, and Griffin's gonna split the D. Lincoln Griffin in for a shot, and that one missed, and oh my goodness, what a pop fly to push him into the wall. Martin Santazzo has it on the far side. Up top, a shot, and Warm making the save there. He dancing out in front, a shot, and Warm standing on top of his crease. It was Adam Dahl who was going behind the net. to. Cyclones obviously would love to be in first as opposed to second in the central, but a lot of roster shuffling, a lot of adversity this team's faced throughout the entire season. Including that one right there, giving up the first goal on a pinballing puck right in the blue paint. Adam Dahl's gonna get credit for it, and that is the rookie's first professional goal. Shall receive. All right, Braden. People watching on Flow Hockey, tell us what you're seeing. Back warm, anticipating pass, jumps over, makes that first save. Even Ooh. would have made a second one initially, and the puck was kicked by a growler player, then is stopped, and now it's a breakaway the other end. Olachewski trying to get back, he does. A shot made, and that puck is in. Back warm is gonna argue it. It looked like the call on the ice stood. Braden, I don't know. Adam Dahl may have his second, and it may literally be for the exact same reason. Four of these fans time. Yeah, well. Even though they're, they certainly would rather in this instance. Oh, I think uh, Newfoundland is gonna get penalized. Justin Vibe just got tripped at center. Cyclones use their challenge on a wait a minute. The captain might want a little bit more, maybe sensing that they need a momentum shift. It is not. And the Cyclones do win a faceoff. Pull back to the point. Here's Mingo over. Andrusiak, big shot, and oh my, making it look easy. His loop. 11 shots to nine. That favors Cincinnati. They've got two more shots, but two fewer goals in a 2 0 deficit. Uh, Smerick starts galloping through center, and he comes in. Breakaway, Jalen Smerick a shot. And that one out of nowhere stopped by Kavalin for this one. It's Gogolev, his pass deflecting off something. And that's a breakaway for Josh Passel. Left wing side, Passel cutting in, and he is stopped. Not slash though, no penalty coming. Bring it in. Nifty creativity being used here as a shot off the glove of Warm, and it's in. And that one is tipped out in front. The initial shot by Simost. Out of ways, producing energy can really help as Sean Allen will go to the box on the power play. They're operating just a hair under 25%, and they win the draw. So Newfoundland sets up, a pass over in front, and they score. Up. Now Johnson finds the puck. I think the Growlers can feel it, too. They sense that since he has found some skating legs, and how about a big hit from Patrick Polino? He knocks down, cap check on the boards, playing their style, and now Hirano's going to draw a penalty. Delayed call coming, Newfoundland touches up. And with 7.43 to go in the second, maybe third time's the charm on this man advantage. Wide, it's out to Karen's left point try. That one wide of the net. Laganov turns, takes a shot, and that one is stopped. Chance now, since he buzzing, an opportunity for Karen's to drive. Rebound is sitting there. Griffin's gonna take a look. He'll fire one, that blasted off the end boards. Another chance, and this three power plays, uh, unable to capitalize on one yet. You hope they get they're gonna factor in at some point or another sooner than later. Right now there's a heavy hit, that's gonna be a penalty and Griffin is okay, he was, and now Jalen Smerick comes in, he may have some room. Smerick leaving it in the slot and turning with it a shot was Hirano, Spinarama effort, Polino's got it too. There's another chance as Passel drives, curls it on and a couple of Sharp angle efforts from the Cyclones here. Arano is then hauled down and that's gonna be another penalty. 9.54 remains in the third by Heritage Bank. Cyclones. Seems like lately we spend more and get less. Well, Donato says it's time to spend less and get more. More edge to edge toppings, more options like oven baked subs. All the Cyclones win a face off, and here's a chance for Phil Laganov. He's gonna cut in on a breakaway a chance, and he was hauled down. It's another penalty. Laganov got a piece of it on net still, but he was held. 
and make it six power plays. It gets lobbed to the line, but Isaac Johnson gets it back. Looks in the slot, a shot, that one off the end boards, and then it left out from behind the boards and got whacked to Warm, who... Uh, yeah pass was sent through three different Cyclones defenders and right on point. They've had a lot of situations where they have what you'd call a, a, a trailer as Caparuso crashes the net of Luke okay. Cavallo. Yeah. Cyclones were in a similar situation and that they really came here, out. Though, shot and they score and that's the hat trick. That's 28 shots on net for Cincinnati tonight. Polino looking for 29. Pinballs and it goes in and the Cyclones are on the board. As Griffin ends the shutout bid, 3.29 to go in the third. He's got 14 on the year, and it is a 5-1 game. Zach Brzola deals with Oren Santazzo, who nearly lost his lid, uh, and it did. It kind of popped off for a moment. There is a penalty coming here, and this one, waiting to see on who it's getting called against. The type of guy Josh Bassel is. Skirving a shot, and he scores. That one had traffic in front of him, and Todd Skirving, who had chances earlier, has 19 goals on the season. The Growlers have two power play goals on the night in a combined. Is that 30? Well, I guess you have to include the other one, so that's 48 seconds of power play time. That's why they're dangerous. 